Alright guys, welcome back to more Pass 5 Master League. We are back with a Derby Day game against Everton today. So yeah, we have got this game and then the almighty Barcelona game is coming up after this one. So pretty exciting times all round coming up for you soon. So yeah, this is the team today. Buffon in goal today. Uh, company and Heitinger at the back. I know a lot will probably say, what are you doing with Company? He's not too reliable now and then, but he's playing this one. Um, we've got Babel up front alongside Torres because that partnership worked really well uh, the other week. And uh, yeah, uh, Ramos at the back as well. I think Clichy is at the left back tonight. Uh, Shimizu in the midfield. So is Gerard. Iniesta is in there. Mafio, DMF. So that is the team. Uh, I think we're happy with that ahead of the Barcelona game coming up. Obviously, two legs coming up in that one. Um, so not to panic. See, the thing is, when it's two legs, I don't panic too much because I know there's a, a second game coming up. But obviously, you still want to get the job done and not um, have to rely on the second leg to get through. You know, you, you kind of want the job almost done in the first leg, but it's never that simple, is it? It's never that simple. Here is Torres. Torres! Straight out of the keeper. Oh, well, Rudy gathers it up. And we are definitely off up and running in this one tonight. Gerard's ball there to Torres doesn't work out. That's going to be a throw-in. We beat Everton last time we played them in the league at Goodison. Uh, we wouldn't mind a repeat of that again tonight. But, uh, yeah, Buffon in goal because he was on the better form arrow of a check tonight. And uh, Marshall, I believe, is on the bench because Marshall was on a good form arrow tonight. So, uh, yeah, lots of uh, stuff happening there. Form wise, of course. Here's Torres. He's still going, Torres. It's Torres. Oh, just couldn't do too much there in the end. Here's Near Smith. Calder up. Mackenzie is Cahill. Everton are on the attack here. We're kind of out of position on the right side. Company uh, gets that all wrong. It's in. That's bent with a header and he should have had it on target at least to trouble Buffon. And he didn't. That was a giveaway, that one. They could have easily scored that. Here's Heitinger. Here's Clichy. Here's Mafio, and here is Torres, now he's taken off the ball by Nier Smith, here's Poborski again, here's Cahill. It's Torres, doesn't find its way through to Babel there, but there's going to be a free kick Instead, here's Ramos, it's Gerard. he's going to whip it in, there's nobody there. You know, you've got you to get bodies in there, and there wasn't really any about. Here's Bent. Here's Torres, it's Torres, ah, oh, he's got the touch all wrong. Never mind. I think Torres has played really well uh, just recently, so uh, we're always happy to see him on the field. And that could have easily flew past Booth on that and ended up in the Liverpool net. Here's Babel. And it's Babel! Oh, he goes for the shot. It opened up for him. Ah, I mean, Iniesta had a little space there. Was it the right thing to do to have passed it? Mm. 
We won't know the outcome. Here's Cahill. Oh, this is a... Oh, it's a question of Buffon. Does he come out there? You know, it's offside anyway, but... Oofed. Oofed. It's one of those oofty situations. And here's Torres. It's Torres. It's Torres! Oh, he goes for the shot himself there. And it's just wide. And why not? I mean, he wasn't far off. Rudy boots out again. Here's Shimizu. Here's Gerard. Ah. Oh. Not a lot happening in this first half so far. Some chances here and there. And oof. Sometimes you just think something's going to happen. And here is a good opportunity from Babel. It's Babel. He's got the pace. He needs to hold the ball up. Penalty is that. It is. It's going to be Babel himself to take it. Scores. He gets another one for himself. Celebrates with a little man Shimizu there. For that one. And that's his 18th in the league. What? He, I tell you, he is the surprise player this season. You know I mean? Going into this season, I'm thinking, oh, he's not really going to play too many games. He's going to be there if we need him. There's like a backup here and there. Maybe he can play on the wing. Experimenting with 4 3 3, etc. And then out of nowhere, he just starts popping in all the goals. And to be honest, it's probably come at a great time as well because, like, Mutu's on sort of the decline a bit. Like, he's not playing as many games, he's not getting as many goals, etc. So it's a fantastic time for a player such as him to pop up and, and start banging in goals and, and doing a Mutu, basically. You know? It's brilliant to see. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see how next season goes with all this and uh, making the run there again but stopped here is Babel uh, doesn't work out there here's Torres it's I think Gerard who is brought down the free kick will be given here And it's Shimizu who makes it number two. And it's great to see him get on the goal scoring sheet. You don't see it too, too often. He was just in all kinds of space there to pop that forward to. So Mafio's assist on that one. He just had to take the touch on the ball just to send it in past Rudy. Going into the break with that going in is fantastic to happen. Changes the team talk at half time a little, that one. We'll back off again. Uh, I'm not sure what Cliche was doing there, but okay. And uh, Mafio, there was go there was going to be another attack going there, but uh, you know when you get the ball forward and then the whistle blows for half time or whatever or full time, and you're like, no, I I just want that extra chance. We had something good going there, and you never get to see what happens. Well, Rangers and Arsenal is one one at the half time interval, so that is the bonus this week for you guys, and uh, we'll. 
see what happens in this second half here in the big derby day game oh Gerard! oh he's getting into a scrap there's always a scrap in the derby in this Merseyside derby is always one usually a red card or two hopefully not for us <laughs> he's babble he's done it again he is the man He just can't stop scoring that, man. I really can't. Maybe we should have, like, a, a player of the month thing <laughs> going on. You know, like, each month, uh, after the end of each month, we should, like, have a vote for player of the month. I think Babel's probably on to get it for this month, so. <laughs> there you go. It's another one for him. He just loves putting that ball in the net. He really does. 3-0 at Anfield tonight. Brilliant stuff. It's Babel. It's Babel. Picks out Shimizu. Shimizu scored in the uh, first half. Of course, here is Shimizu again. It's Babel. It's Gerard. It's Torres. He goes for it. It's in. It's number four. Bit of a tight angle. But it's ended up in. Gerard and Torres linking up just like a 7 or 8. And there you go. Even a 8 or 9. A little bit of 9 10 in there. <laughs> Heitinger brought off the ball. Referee's running over. He says, no, we're not having any of that. We're not having any of that, BT. Come on, now. Stop it. It's company. Here's Gerard. Puts Torres in. It's Torres. Ah, oh, you know what? Torres should have just taken it forward, hit it. First time. Gerard is Torres. It's Gerard again. Oh, tripped. Trip just oh, he's getting into another one. He's getting into another one. Babel. Oh, Babel again. What is this man? What is this man right now? It's a bullet, that one. Hits it on the turn. Bang. That is 5-0. What a game. Yet again. Headed clear. I think um I think that was about I think that was his 20th for the in the league season actually. Bat away by uh Booth on there. There's gonna be a foul on I think it was, was it Matthew or someone?
So it's always weird when the uh, goalkeeper passes it out like that. A lot of the time we've seen it in the past where they try to pass it out and there's always a player there that will we'll get to it. Or I think even we've done it on occasion where we've accidentally passed it out to the wrong player. And it's just something... It's something that I, I, I absolutely hate to happen in like any football game. And that's why I usually just... I just kick the ball straight out these days because Gerard. Oh, not because of Gerard, but because it's really frustrating that situation. But yeah, Gerard has scored now. And um, other than that, he's actually coming off in a moment for I think Schneider. <laughs> well, he gets one for himself. He's been getting a lot more goals this season as Gerard. So I've really enjoyed that. He's playing, I believe, as a right midfielder in tonight's game. Which uh, is kind of allowing him to get forward a little bit more, I believe. Which is very nice. So uh, Maldini is going to come on for the uh, last few minutes of the match. Um, he's going to come off. Uh, sorry, he's going to come on for um, uh, Ramos. Uh, Ramos is going to take a rest and oh, headed out. Here's Mafio. Here's Shimizu. It's Shimizu. That's going to be a corner. Uh, and yeah, he's going into a, a right back position. Uh, who cares? It's just for the last sort of 10 minutes of the match. Wouldn't do as much harm. Not 6 0, surely not. <laughs> And uh, there was Maldini, but uh, his efforts are kept away. It's Nedved, his BT, and it stopped, and Buffon stretches out to it. Stretch Armstrong right there. And Buffon's going to do it again. Boot out. Oh, that's uh, that's against Maldini, that one. Everton free kick. It's cleared easily enough. Here's Babel once more. He's on a run, Is Babel. The bad bullet. That's what it was the other week. Here's Torres. Oh, oh, it's Chuckle, is it? Oh, come on, dude. It's Maldini here. And I think that's a court. No, not a corner. Okay, a time ran out. Fair, fair enough. I thought we had a few more minutes there or something. But yeah, that is the game. What a game again. Bad ball. He's got to be the man of the match again. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at you. He, he's he's going to be it. And he's not. It's Gerard who's the man of the match. I mean, fair enough, but I thought Babel definitely would have got it. I mean, he's got a hat trick again, man. 7.5. That's not a high enough rate. And he deserved at least an 8 minimum. At least. Torres would have put 7.5, though. Um... Shimizu scored, he did pretty well. Iniesta, yeah, did all right. Mafio always does solid. Sergio around 7.5 for him. Um, really good game all round. Rudy had an absolute nightmare of a game. But that is that. Results from fixture 20 in the league. They are here, and this is what they look like. Spares won at Blackburn 2-1 to start with. Aston Villa win again, this time at Middlesbrough 4-1. Chelsea win at Fulham 2-0. Newcastle win at West Brom 3-1. West Brom, they're, they're doing really well, and they've let that one 
past them. Uh, Manchester United was 2-2 against We United. Arsenal was 2-2 against Rangers. And Wigan lose at home to Bolton 2-0. So this is the league table now. And uh, Bolton have climbed up to fifth today. West Brom are out of a European spot right now. No, come on. West Brom for Europe, man. I'm, I'm jumping on that train <laughs> this season. But uh, yeah, Chelsea up to fourth there with uh, 33 points. And uh, We United, they are down to six now, 32 points. Points. So West Brom, they're not far behind. Even Aston Villa are creeping up. They've had a few good results lately. They're still eighth. Uh, moving down to the bottom, a uh, few changes there. Nothing too much to note, though, to be honest. It's just all a bit scrambly in there. You know, the team's moving up and down each week. Uh, Newcastle up to 11th now. Uh, they've put a few wins together, haven't they? So, yeah. Uh, Everton down to 12th, uh, Rangers down to 13th currently, and Spares, they are up to 9th, and Blackburn are down to 10th. So Babel is now 5 goals ahead in the Golden Boot race now, like, come on, he's got to get it now. I think there's something like, I don't know, 9 league games or something to go. But anyway, this is... Um, well, the next round of the Champions League, this is what it looks like. We United are taking on Ajax, that was it. I couldn't remember before if it was Ajax they were fa facing. But, um, yeah, AC Milan there taking on Juventus, which is a massive game. I mean, they're all massive games anyway. Anderlecht, who have gotten this far, are taking on Inter Milan. For us, it's Barcelona, though. Who knows how this one is going to go. We've done the work. We've kind of prepared for it, and we're ready to go in there and see what happens, guys. So join us for that one next time. Correct rate, subscribe, and share as always. We're at home. We're at Anfield for the first leg. See you there. Take care.